You said you're an EMT? Yes. Okay, if you're responding, you're responding to a health emergency. Biological male. Somebody with a penis is, uh, is having a medical emergency. And they say to you, um, I think I'm having a miscarriage. Would you, would you check them to see if they're having a miscarriage? Would you consider that a possibility for them? <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Matt Wash debates transgender EMT who ends up speechless. Okay, let's give this a try. Hi, Mr. Walsh. Um, my name is Luna, and I am a nationally registered advanced EMT here in the state of New Mexico. I am also transgender. Um, throughout my career as an EMT, I have responded to, by conservative estimates, about 1,500 calls for service here in the state of New Mexico. I have treated more transgender people than I can count. Who will tell me that the support of the people in their lives makes a difference in their lives? And that's been my experience as well. My question for you is, despite all of these transgender people who tell me how great things are for them, I have never once treated somebody who told me that they regretted their transition. Never once. It hasn't happened. So where is this supposed epidemic of people regretting their transitions? Well, you could just ask them, are you, are you denying that they exist? I understand they exist. I haven't seen significant evidence okay. of it to nearly the same extent as people who tell me they're happy with their transitions. Okay, that, that's fine. You, you personally haven't seen them. Uh, I have, I talk to them all the time. So I know that they're out there, I know they exist. I also know that, um, I know a couple other things. I also know that the suicide rate, as we established, suicidality for trans people remains sky high even after transition. And I went over in the talk why all of the explanations for that, that somebody on your side of the discussion might offer, don't hold water, they don't work, which, which tells us that there's something else going on, and which tells us that there's still a deep despair there. So those people who identify as trans, then they transition, and then they kill themselves, which is a, a large number, they might not articulate, many of them may articulate this, but they might not articulate that they regret this. But even so, as they say, actions speak louder than words. And so it's pretty clear that there's something deeply wrong here. And it's also clear to me that if transition is supposed to make trans people happier, on a large scale, it's not working. And when you've got suicidality, uh, you know, rate of 50% or more, that tells me that this plan for making this group of people who are 50% suicidal isn't working. I mean, if that's not enough to convince you, I don't know what else to tell you. And one other final point that I'll make as well, because we, we've all these t questions, and I appreciate the questions. I appreciate that you guys at least are coming up to talk to me. In most, in most schools, they won't even do that. So I appreciate that. But all of these questions are about, well, this trans person says that they're happy. I say that I'm happy. Even if I were to concede that there may be some trans people who feel like they're happy, I think even then they're lying to themselves and there's a deeper despair there, which is what led them to reject their, themselves in the first place. But I could, I could just, we could put that entirely to the side because what I'd like to do is get back to the question of, is it true, okay? It might make a man, maybe there's a man out there who feels happier if we affirm him as a woman. Is it true though? Is it actually true? And I would say that the truth matters first before we get to the emotional questions. So, I'll, th I'll throw it back to you. Biological male says that he's a woman, wants to be affirmed as a woman. Is it true? Is the, tr the claim that he's making about himself, is it actually true? Yes. <laughs> how? How do you know that? How would you define a woman? Because you've asked other uh, people up here to define how we would define a woman. How would you define a woman, Mr. Walsh? Uh, an adult human female. <laughs> and 
how don't trans people, how doesn't a transgender woman fit that definition? Female. Because they're not, they're not female. They, they, they have, they have, you said that you are a biological male, correct? I said I'm transgender. Um, I might be intersex for all we know. About uh, almost as many people in the world are transgender as intersex. And well, a lot of people don't know. Well, but that's a different conversation. Intersex, that's a genetic anomaly. That's a medical condition. So let, that's a completely different conversation. That's also not a, that's not a third gender. That's just a, that's a genetic anomaly that occurs within the sex so binary so of male and female. Um, a, so you, what you're saying is that a quote unquote trans woman is a female. By the definitions I'm familiar with, yes. So how would you define female? Through my training in healthcare, there are several different categories for how we define sex. People bring up pr chromosomes. People also bring up hormone levels. People bring up all sorts of other categories. Lots of people don't fit neatly into a gender binary, even people we don't consider to be intersex. It's a complicated spectrum. It, it's not complicated, but you also didn't, you also didn't define. So, so what is... What is a woman? What is a female? What do, what do these words mean? It's complicated, and I know you're not going to like that answer, but that's because there are no simple answers in human biology. Let me ask you a question. You guys, well, you hang question. on. I, just let me finish. You guys like to bring up high school level biology classes a lot. I get that a lot. But people who go on to more complicated biology classes will talk about s sex as a spectrum. It's not. It's not. Well, biological researchers would disagree with you. Well, then they're full of shit, the ones that would say that. There's, look. There are... All right. There are male gametes and female gametes. Oh, I had one, I had one last question. I, I just have one, I have one quick... Can, we, can, we, can you come back for one second? Because this is an important question. You said you're an EMT. Yes. Okay, if you're responding, you're responding to a health emergency biological male, somebody with a penis is, uh, is having a medical emergency. And they say to you, um, I think I'm having a miscarriage. Would you, would you check them to see if they're having a miscarriage? Would you consider that a possibility for them? Look. <laughs> Speechless. No, but... That's because some people don't have body parts. Doesn't mean they're not a woman. Okay. Sounds like we've established there are some people who in principle can get pregnant and there are some people who can't. So there's two categories, otherwise known as binary. Lots of women can't get pregnant either. Yeah, but they're still of the nature to get pregnant. The only but reason- But they can't get pregnant. Yes, but Truth they... matters, right? It, it does, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Truth matters and they can't okay. get pregnant, I, that's the truth, so how are they still women? Because they are, for, for, this, for the same reason, for the, for the same reason that I, that I can rightly say that human beings have two legs. And if a person is born with only one leg, that doesn't call into question the statement that human beings have two legs, okay? A person being born with one leg doesn't mean that now legs are on a spectrum and we can't say, we can't say anything at all about how many legs a person has. Who knows, they could, have, they could be a centipede. You know, they could, have a, they could have a hundred legs. No, we know human beings have two legs. If a human is born without two legs, something went wrong. They were supposed to have that second leg. Something went wrong. If you, if you, if you meet a person on the street who only has one leg, Maybe, maybe they had an accident. Maybe they were in war. Maybe, maybe, some, you know, maybe they were in a car accident. Maybe they had cancer. A leg was cut off. But you know that something went wrong because of the, by their nature, they're supposed to have two legs. Same thing for a woman. A woman by her nature can get pregnant. A man by his nature never can. So if you meet a woman of childbearing age, say she's 28 years old, and she can't get pregnant, you know automatically that something has gone wrong. And she can go to the doctor and find out what that thing is, even if they can't fix it. So... That proves that women by their nature can get pregnant because the simple fact that she can't shows you that there is something 
wrong. This is what is known as the exception that proves the rule. Whereas if a male with a penis can't get pregnant, no doctor on earth is going to run tests to see what's wrong with him. <laughs> because they already know it's that he's a male, and there's only male and female, those who can get pregnant and those who can't. So, I, that's it. That's... I love Matt Wash. <laughs> He, low, he, he states facts clearly because this transgender um, of a man who transitioned to a woman he's, he's confused uh, I'll keep on calling him he because he's confused the reason why I'll say so is because he worked at AMT uh, Matt, Matt was gave him an example uh, if you see someone who is with a penis and he says uh, he has miscarriage well, what are you going to do? Like, he was confused. Because he knows that uh, he, he can't do anything. And it's strange for a man with a penis to have miscarriage. It, 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 it never happened. So, any time I see people who are from the leftist, who are transgenders, um, uh, I feel like they are delusional. Not I feel like, I know they are delusional. Uh, they are in, in a state of being which they are confused for the period of time. It's possible they can come out from that state if they choose to. But right there, right that time, they are actually confused. This transgender, um, the guy who was transgender to a woman, he felt embarrassed. You can see it in his face. He felt embarrassed because he knows what Charlie is saying is the truth. And he has no points. He has no facts. No research backing, nothing to back up his point. He felt embarrassed. At that point, he he did he does not go and commit suicide. Because the rate of people who transition from man to woman, from woman to man, the rate of um suicide of suicide is really, really high. A lot of them regret their actions, a lot of them have committed suicide, a lot of them like they, they are feeling bad. A lot of them can't just give birth again. A lot of them have cut off their breasts because they feel like they're a man. So it's 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 a very, very regrettable decision that some of them some of them take. And I feel like they're they're actually in a state of confusion. You should not blame them or chase them away from the society or feel like they are not humans or treat them bad. No. It's it's actually a state of being that they're the sense of confusion that they choose to accept. <clears throat> so we have gender dysphoria, which is uh, disorders. We understand those ones. Some people have disorders. Some people who are born to be male, but they have some female genitalia. That's those are disorders, accepted. But people who are physically male choose to transition to a woman and dress like a woman and go to the women restroom they are in a state of confusion. You understand? So, <clears throat> you should not discriminate them. You should just advise them. For me, that is the best way for you to follow them to talk. Just advice. Because there's nothing you will tell them <clears throat> during that state of confusion or, or delusion that they will ever accept now. So, just advise them and, and just pray that they change. Because that is the society we find ourselves in. Uh, people, people are running away from their own physical body. They are running away. They feel like they should not be in this. They should not be who they are. They feel like they should not be a man. They should be a woman. It's, it's bad. Like it's bad. And we should point it. Make sure we always point it out straight to them that what they are doing is bad. Either they accept it or not, they know what they are doing is bad. Either they know what they are doing is bad. They just don't want to accept it. And they feel like that they are fighting for something. There's all of them who are transgender, who are LGBTQ, they feel like they're fighting for something, whereas they're fighting for nothing. So guys, this was amazing to watch. I, I love the entire video. I love the crowd, the way they responded. I love Matt Walsh, the way he answered correctly without any rush. <clears throat> he answered properly. And the transgender who came there to talk um, respectfully, it's not all, all transgender who have their guts to come out and speak out. So he did well. <clears throat> by coming out to speak out and I just feel like he should change his narrative he says a six gender which is a very stupid word to use so comment down below what you think about this video give us a thumbs up share this video as many as you can subscribe to our channel I'll see you guys in the next video make sure you stay safe
I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all over.